All right, uh, take us through these ratings. Well, I don't know much here, but, um, you know, Friday night was uh, going against the NBA Finals, and uh, Raw went against the NBA Finals in the final game. The Nuggets won 4-1 to one in the uh, NBA Finals. It's over. So, uh, anyway, that's traditionally um, this would be the lowest rated period of the year except for um, – um, you know, for Raw, the lowest period would be against the NFL. But for most of the other shows, the lowest period would be against, um, you know, the uh, you know, um, as far as as far as you know, would be go, going against the NBA playoffs. That would be Raw's other low period. And Raw obviously did very very well. I mean, the show tonight may be down because of the playoffs, but Raw's you know the company's hot, so it, it may not be too bad. It's not going to be like. You know, in the past, where it could be, you know, 1.5 million viewers or something like that. I don't think it's going to get that low. But um, SmackDown did uh, 2,278,000 viewers on Friday night head-to-head with uh, the playoffs. And I think that's a great number, uh, 0.60. And um, I would have thought that the show would do, you know, um, significantly better with the Jey Uso thing had there not been the playoffs. Now... Uh, Rampage got killed. Uh, they did 291,000 viewers in 0.10. And, um, I mean, it was a show with no marquee value. And, um, you know, that's essentially what you get. And um, Rampage is going to be tough because I don't know that people are going to devote, you know, the thing with, with AEW right now is that, um, you know, the you know people are watching Wednesday. Wednesday is doing very well. They are, you know, the pay-per-views are, have remained strong. But Rampage and the streaming shows, which don't even exist anymore, um, were not doing well. We're not doing well. They were falling pretty hard in the last year. So it's, it's, it's been one of those things where at the beginning, you know, when, when AEW first came out of the blocks, there was like a lot of excitement. Anything AEW-wise, you know, people would flock to. And they did very, very well, you know, um, streaming wise. They did, you know, you know, for for what they were doing. And those streaming numbers declined, you know, would you know decline greatly as the years went on. Um, and now, you know, those shows don't even exist anymore. So now we're at a situation where, um, you know, obviously Saturday's big um, because that show has got to be. That show has got they're, they're, they got a lot riding on Saturday being a success. You know, um, it's a lot of money involved. Obviously, a lot of money involved in the next um, next negotiations where this show's success or failure or in between will mean a ton of difference in the money most likely that they are getting. So um, they they um, I think that they'll probably God, it's hard to say. I mean, I don't, I don't expect it to start at anywhere near the level, you know, Rampage started at. Um, the company was much hotter, obviously, at that time. Um, but, um, you know, this is a two-hour show, uh, which gives it, and um, there's a lot of different, um, you know, as far as, uh, there's, there's a more, there's going to be more uniqueness to it. But I, I'll say this right now, you know, the idea of a split. Uh, I don't know if that's the right answer here because you need that Saturday show. You need, I, I think that you need um, your stars on Wednesday and Saturday uh, and not just split the stars in half. I mean, you can do it with some of the minor characters and things like that and maybe even, okay, Friday is or Saturday is the CM Punk show for, for the variety of different reasons and then Wednesday can go on its own. But, you know, you... You know, you're, you're asking people who are AEW fans to now commit two more hours a week because they really weren't watching Rampage in big numbers. You know, some were watching it the next day, obviously. The Saturday morning Rampage viewing or Saturday day Rampage viewing was still pretty high, the last I saw as far as the DVR stuff. I very, you know, but, but still people are not, um, you know, they're not committing themselves to more AEW. They're committing themselves to hardcore AEW. And so they have to break that spell here. And, you know, obviously Punk is the biggest star in the company. And it's the best shot you got. And, you know, week one will be interesting. Uh, but obviously, you know, um, 
we've we've know you know you you know from TV week one is is not I mean you know again week three week four week five is is about where we're going to see where the thing levels off to and where the thing really is and um, you know so it's very very important that uh, it's very important that those first couple of weeks are good shows and have a lot of happenings to them and I presume that there will be a lot of happenings and surprises and angles and things certainly starting from week one that you know this, this show on this coming Saturday has there's a lot of pressure on the Saturday show this week I mean they have got to deliver a big one well you know here's the thing with the uh, whatever the split is going to be like there's obviously going to be some big stars that are going to be exclusive to one show like the elite and CM Punk are not going to be on the same show so you know Punk's going to be Saturday for now sure. for now I mean it's well, at some at some point I mean at some point uh, you know I, I don't think that I don't think it's good for the company that that stays forever. You know, I mean, if it's if you have to do it now, that's fine. But at the end of the day, I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of money involved in this thing, and um, it's it's imperative. That well, you put that's on all the fine. Best. But for now, they're going to be on different shows, and I think that uh, there's probably going to be some some mid card acts that are going to be, you know, they'll be on Saturday, and others will be on Wednesday. And that's fine as far as mid card acts go. And I, I think that some of the top stars are going to go. They're going to be. I would say available for both shows, but I think one of the big things is, you know, this is not WWE where, you know, you can fly out Thursday, do SmackDown, do a Saturday house show, Sunday house show, do Raw, and then fly back home. You'd have people that would, you know, a John Moxie, for example, you know, fly out for the Wednesday show, and then what? Fly home, and then fly immediately back for Saturday? Stay yeah. on the road for four days or three days or whatever, doing nothing, waiting for Saturday. I mean, that travel is going to be a bitch for people that are required to be on the Wednesday and Saturday show and there will be on people, any given week. There will be people like that probably because all your champions are going to be on both shows. Well, it's going to be some rough, unhappy travel for people. Would be well, it's going to be guess. different. It's going to it's going to be a, it's it's going to be a harder travel schedule for some people. Yeah, the people that they really rely on. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, and uh, um, you know the you know and and just and not just that, but also you know as far as the um, you know selling the tickets and everything like that. Um, it's real important. It's really important that collision, that that the cachet of the collision name has to be equal to that or close to equal to that of uh, dynamite, and um, you know because now they're going to have to. Basically, um, you know, I mean, they have to have decent enough crowds on Saturday night. I mean, they should have better crowds on, by all rights, they should have better, much better crowds on Saturday night. Um, right now, obviously, you know, as far as the advances go and everything, um, is it people who just, you know, don't see the collision thing as being an A show? Is it that AEW is cold? Is it that because in Canada, they don't even get Rampage? And that's another thing with, with, collision as far as a negative thing goes is it's not going to be on tv in canada it's only going to be streaming and in the uk as far as we can tell it's the same thing because they've announced that the that collision will be on um you know the aw plus service and that's well and good it's a subscription service and you know it, it if, if you get a subscription to that service it's a great bargain now even more because you're going to get five hours a week plus you know, five hours a week on that service, um, you know, and I don't think they're raising the price it's when you're used to be getting three hours a week. So, and also commercial free, which is one of the benefits of that service. But, you know, as far as, you know, that's that's great for your hardcore pro wrestling fans um, that want to see it live and all that. But to make new fans and to ho hook, you know, people who are not willing to pay for, a subscription service for a weekly television show for those people um they're not getting collision right now they are getting rampage over there um and maybe they will get collision at some point but so far uh no announcement's been made and collision is just a couple days away so it doesn't look good for canada i mean aside from the united states i'm not sure where it's i'm not i haven't heard anything about australia either but but um yeah aside from the united states um i don't even know where collision is even airing and another thing too is um a lot of the talent had been working you know some of the talent 
a decent amount of the town had been working house shows. And now, you know, um, obviously, much of the town will not be able to work Saturday house shows. I know that um, um, there was a Northeast Wrestling show that was scheduled for Saturday that they ended up moving the show um, back a month, and it won't be on a Saturday night. But um, uh, Pentagon, uh, Willow Nightingale, the acclaimed Billy Gunn, I believe, and there, there may be others, but those names I know off the top of my head, were all on the show when they were all told that, you know, uh, that they would have to be on, you know, available for the the Saturday show this week. Um, and, of course, they're going to be taping Ring of Honor on Saturday as well. So that could be, you know, as far as like with Pentagon and with Willow, that could be, um, you know, you know, because they've been on a lot of Ring of Honor shows of late. So there's that as well. So, um, you know, the but some of the talent that's worked indies would not be able to work Saturday Night Indies anymore either. And Granny, did you know that in the room right now is an Emmy Award winner? I know. I want to congratulate wow. you, Sean. Wow. Thank you. The only one here who's ever achieved anything of value. Nice work, Shane. <laughs> Way to go, buddy. <laughs> Let's see this big gold Emmy. Wow. Look oh, at that, everybody. Wow. Holy smokes. That qualifies. That's Prefer to hold it by thing. the bottom to it as well. Let's get a picture for the front page. Yeah, you want it. <laughs> <laughs>